Hi there. Well, our topic today is why your business needs a planning model. If you're running a small to mid-sized business, then you hopefully already have a planning model or you've been thinking about creating one. If you don't have one, I'm gonna to try to motivate you here to get one set up. The planning model is gonna be a combination of historical results and key performance metrics, as well as forecasted results that are based on your business plan. This kind of planning model is the foundation for the advisory services that I, pro I provide to clients. It's also, tip it's also the typical work product of uh, financial planning and an analysis role if you have that position in your business. If not, you typically would be doing the planning model maybe with your controller or your accounting manager or maybe uh, somebody else like a head of operations or even one of the owners, founders, CEO is doing the planning model because you don't yet have a CFO or a uh, planning and analysis uh, staff person. So when you do a planning model, there's many different ways that you could format and present the planning model. Uh, but at its core, the planning model should be informing leaders about how their decisions as well as external factors affect the growth, the profitability, and ultimately the cash flow of the business. I find that the planning model is an essential communication tool with management, within management and between managers. The planning model translates the business planning uh, that is in leaders' heads into their expected financial results on paper that, uh, and financially and mathematically in a way that other people can take a look at what the assumptions are and what the expected outcomes are. It's kind of like the scientific method of discovery where you've put out your expected results, which are your hypothesis about how the business works, what the assumptions are, and what, what those drivers are, and what, what the expected results will be. And then you can test that against actual results, and lessons can be learned from making that comparison. For that reason, we believe the planning model should be a dynamic document that's updated regularly, just like your accounting close would be. An added benefit to running your planning model this way is that it provides a good double check on the accounting process. If actual results vary from expectations, it could be something to learn in the planning process, or it could be identifying accounting errors. There are apps out there that help companies create and maintain their planning models. However, we find with working with clients that the companies that we're working with need a lot more customization than a standard app would provide. So we typically manage the planning process in spreadsheets like Excel or Google Sheets. Well, that's it for planning models. Hopefully that gives you some insight and perhaps uh, some motivation to think about doing it in your business if you're not already, or if you are doing it, and maybe I said something that's a little bit different than what you're doing, maybe that gives you some thoughts about um, how you might do your planning a little bit differently or how you might format your planning differently. That's it for now. I'm going to get back to gardening. Thanks.